When it's cold outside, who are you holding? I'm holding the Digiton Wireless Temperature Controller. What is this device and what does it do? This device allows me to control other devices, such as space heaters, allowing me to determine when the space heater will come on and go off based on ambient temperatures. Why do I have it? Well, I have a cat and I'm in my cat's room and we have a house that is in need of some window and insulation work. So it can get kind of cold in this room and I don't want the cat to be cold at all. So I went ahead and got a space heater. Unfortunately, with space, with space heaters, if you let them run 24 hours a day, they will literally run your bill sky high. And it can also cause the cat to overheat when the door is closed. So I went ahead and got this temperature controller and it allows me to determine when the space heater will come on with the start temperature of 68 degrees. That's what I've got it set to. And in this case, I've got it set to go off at 69 degrees. So it's very efficient. And the reason why I've got it set for just one degree in difference is that I've noticed that with a space heater, with the door closed, it can get rather hot in this room and I don't want the cat to overheat. So I find out that I found out that one degree in temperature difference is enough to allow this room to be very warm and nice and cozy. And this temperature controller is very accurate at detecting one degree in temperature high or low. So right now it's showing that the temperature in this room is 71 degrees. And I've got the start run temperature at 68 degrees and to go off at 69 degrees. And as you can see, the space heater is off. So there's no light on it right now. And if you look at the base adapter, there's no light on it right now. So let me show you how it actually works. So all I have to do is to press the set button. And I know that you probably won't be able to see the, uh, the blue screen on this uh, controller. Oh, it just went off the light did. So you can see a little bit better. And so I turned it down to, actually I'm gonna turn it up to 70 degrees, no, 72 degrees, because it's currently 71 degrees in the room. And then I'm going to press the set button again. And then I'm going to turn the stop temperature to 73 degrees. And then I'm going to hold down the set button. And there, the temperature is set. And as you can see, there's a green light on the AC adapter. And there's an amber light on the space here itself. So the device actually automatically came on. So the temperature right now in the room is 71 degrees. And it's set to come on if the temperature goes below 72 degrees and to go off if the temperature reaches above 73 degrees. So I'm not going to wait for the temperature to actually reach 73 degrees because that can take some time. But I just want to show you a couple of the features before I turn the temperature off. Um, some of the features are it can actually have a display for Fahrenheit or Celsius. I'm in, the, I'm in the United States, excuse my, my voice there. I'm in the United States and I'm more accustomed to Fahrenheit temperatures, so I've got it set to Fahrenheit. Um, it's got several other settings. I'm probably not gonna be able to go through all of them because you really can't see, see the screen. And actually, I'd have to fumble through some of these settings because I don't use this device every day. Um, I bought it in April of 2022 and it is now November of 2022, so I've had it for several months and I've had plenty of time to uh, play with it. And like I said, you probably cannot see the screen too good right now because it's gone to the green screen actually. There, it just went off. So I'm just gonna hold this button down to actually get to go to its regular screen. So like I said, um, I don't play with this device every day because I don't have to because I set it to the temperature that I want it to be set to, and I leave it. It does its job from there. Um, it's very efficient. It's got several features on it. Like I said, Fahrenheit and Celsius. Um, it's battery operated. It takes two 3A batteries, and I use 
rechargeable batteries. Uh, you can get regular batteries if you want. Um, so really the only thing I have to do with this unit is to make sure that the batteries are charged up or if you get regular batteries, make sure that you replace the batteries periodically. And other than that, the device, it does its job by itself. So let me go ahead and get the device to turn off. So all I have to do is to hold down the set button. And like I said, you can't see the screen too good when it's in the green screen mode. And let me turn it down to 68. And I'm gonna press the set button again. I'm gonna turn the stop setting back down to 69 and the AC adapter and the space here are gonna go off. Let me just hold down the button here to get them to go off. I'm kind of having to flip around a little bit. Like I said, I don't use this device every day. Should have went off. Oh, stopped at 68. Oh, so I kind of made a mistake there. Okay. This time it'll go off. Okay, so as you can see, made a little mistake there. That's okay. But the ultimate is that the, the space heater went off. That's because the AC adapter went off. So this is a very good unit. It's only $25. I bought it on Amazon. I'll place a link in the comments section so you can buy it. You can um, also place comments. Let me know what you think of it. Um, very efficient. It's got a lot of features to it. I wish I had more time or ability to go through them all. But like I said, it does its own job. So I don't use these features every day. And it comes with the um, remote device, which works on Bluetooth with the base AC adapter. And it's got the temperature sensor inside of this unit. So you can just leave it in the room where you've got the AC adapter and your, your space heater or whatever device that you're, you're trying to control. And it'll do its own job. So... Enough said. Um, go ahead. Let me know what you think of this device. And I will put a, uh, a link to where I got it in the comment section. And peace out.